What's going on guys? This is Barker, back with another NBA video talking about the NBA, and today, I'm talking about the Memphis Grizzlies, but more in specifically, I'm talking about John Morant, and should he be this year's MVP, the 2022 NBA MVP. Obviously, John Morant has been absolutely insane his third season in the NBA. He's been taking over NBA media, seems like everything he does on the court gets posted in a highlight, and it's well deserved. In his last like four games, he's averaging like 40 plus points per game. He dropped 52 points against the San Antonio Spurs. He had a poster on Jacob Poto. And just like I said, makes highlight plays every time he touches the ball. He is one of the most exciting players to watch in the NBA. He's one of the highest young guys with the most potential in the NBA. And a lot of people, you know, when they watch him, it reminds a lot of people of Derrick Rose and how he kind of took over at a young age and was absolutely insanely athletic and could jump out of the gym. John Morant is a special talent. Uh, the Golden State Warriors and uh, Phoenix Suns are starting to decline uh, in their rankings because Chris Paul is injured. Then Booker just got COVID. And with Golden State, Draymond Green's been injured for a long time. Klay Thompson isn't fully healthy. James Wiseman isn't healthy, and Steph Curry's been struggling here and there. But the Memphis Grizzlies have been absolutely insane. They have a guy uh, in their coach who, in my opinion, is the coach of the year favorite because they went from last season barely making the playoffs, barely making it out of the play-in tournament as an eighth seed, to now potentially being the first seed in the West if the Suns and Golden State keep struggling. Uh, John Morant's been absolutely insane. Like I said, MVP candidate for sure. Could win most improved. Desmond Bain could also win most improved. Jaron Jackson Jr. could potentially win Defensive Player of the Year. There's just so much talent on this Memphis Grizzlies team. And not a lot of people saw it before the season started, but they have it. They got a lot of unselfish guys that are willing to pass the ball. And just make the right play. And like I said, John Morant's just been playing absolutely amazing. The fact that this man's 22 years old and looking like the best point guard in the entire NBA is just nuts to me. Uh, the fact that he was drafted second overall, not first overall, and Zion was drafted first. The Pelicans definitely got to be regretting at this moment since Zion can't stay healthy. John Morant's a special talent. You know, I think everyone knew this looking at him in college when he played for Murray State. You could see the potential there, but I don't think a lot of people thought he would be this good this fast. Like I said, he's averaging like 40 points over his last four games. He's been one of the MVP front runners. Obviously, Nikola Jokic is doing amazing too. I believe the Nuggets are a five seed right now. Jokic still has a lot of high consideration. The 76ers look amazing with Joel Embiid. He's one of the MVP front runners, but what I'm going to say about those guys. Jokic is about to get back Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. That might take away some of the shots and, you know, potential of what Jokic can do on the floor. Also with Joel Embiid, now he has James Harden. Even though James Harden obviously passes the ball a lot and gets a lot of assists, he still demands the ball a lot. He still takes a lot more shots than the guys he had around him like Seth Curry and Andre Drummond. Joel Embiid's going to get less shots as well, just like Jokic. And Giannis, obviously, he's still going to dominate. But then day, he's kind of lower on the end. In my opinion, John Morant's already above Giannis. And like I said, the Memphis Grizzlies are about to be the first seed in the entire NBA. That's really going to push his MVP odds. In my opinion, yes, DeMar DeRozan also doing amazing, but in my opinion, DeMar DeRozan is not the MVP favorite. He's more of just a guy, kind of that underdog story that a lot of people want to win MVP. But in my opinion right now, I'm betting money on that John Morant might actually win MVP. I would honestly bet money right now that John Morant's going to win MVP. Because like I said, the NBA media absolutely loves him. All the fans love him. And John Morant's just having a crazy season. Let me know what you guys think. Is John Morant going to win MVP? Is he a little overrated? Is the media hyping him up too much and under-hyping guys like Nikola Jokic and Joel Embiid? Let me know in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I make NBA videos all the time. I'm not stopping anytime soon. Road to 400. Peace.